Hey all, it's Johnny Mullet here. I wanted to share with you guys today my simple DIY awning that I have on the bus. I never really did a video on how it's set up and how everything works. So I want to show you guys how this thing works and uh, I think you'll find it pretty cool. It's a lot cheaper this route and um, you really avoid getting mold and stuff when you roll up a regular RV awning when it's wet and I think this method is the way to go. It's very portable, and if for some reason it gets destroyed in a windstorm, you're not out a whole lot of money, which is pretty cool. So let me show you over here on the bus what we got going on real quick, and then we'll go from there. Okay, if you look up here next to my porch light, there is a permanent hook mounted. That's an actual tarp hook mounted to the bus. And as you go on down, you will see another hook that is also permanently mounted to the side of the bus. So, um, this black tote, I keep a lot of my camping gear in it. Um, I have my tarp there. I have my cables and my tent poles already set up so we can make this a quick and painless operation. So I'm going to show you all how this works real quick. Let's check it out. So, I had the camera set up so you guys can see what's going on, and this is a one-man operation. Um, if you got two people, it goes a lot quicker, but it really don't take that long. So let's time it and see how long it takes. Check it out. I know I'm not trying to time this or anything for you guys, but uh, these cables are for roll-up truck doors. And they're pretty heavy duty and they have this plastic eyelet so when I put the tarp on this and then I put the cable on and go ahead and secure it down it's not going anywhere so Zing, zing.
So now what I want to do is, since I got the two poles set, I want to tighten them up, make it nice and straight. So after a little bit of adjusting, and I got the poles nice and straight, and I got the um, stakes good and tight, as you can see, we got a nice awning. Pretty sweet, huh? So, you know, that only took like less than 10 minutes to set it up for one person. Not bad. I mean, it's not as convenient as a regular roll-up awning, but it's simple. It works. I chose white to help reflect sunlight and reflect the heat. And uh, that is a 8 foot by 16 foot tarp. And it fits perfectly on my 28 foot bus. So that is pretty cool. Now the, the last step is just um, adding a little bit of security. Let me show how I do that. So what I have here is these magnetic hooks. They're pretty heavy duty. I got these on Amazon along with the tarp and the poles and everything else I'm using. So as I showed you, I got the two permanent hooks on each end. But to help secure it, I got these eyelets here. I'm going to put the magnet hook through. I'm doing this one-handed, so. And then the magnet sticks to the bus. And these are really, really strong magnets. And what that does is that actually helps secure the awning. Let's see if I can get this one here. To the side of the bus. And it does a really nice job keeping everything nice and tight. So, as you step on back and take a look, there you go. There is my DIY awning. Pretty cool, huh? So, I hope you all enjoyed my DIY awning setup. I wanted to share with you how, how simple and easy it is. It's really cool, and it's nice to have a place to get out of the sun, hang out next to the bus, right by the door. Pretty sweet. So, simple. One tarp, two permanent hooks, five magnetic hooks, a couple tent poles and cables and tent stakes. You're there. That easy. So, I think all in all, with the tarp, the tent poles, the stakes, the cables, the magnets, I'm, I'm right under a hundred bucks, if not right around a hundred dollars, which is pretty reasonable and half the price of a used awning off of an RV. And like I said, the RV awnings, they're just, they're troublesome and they're a permanent fixture on the side of your vehicle. And if you roll them up wet, you're going to get the mold issue. With this here, I can easily fold it up. Put it away in a nice dry location i don't have to worry about mold and mildew so i hope you all enjoyed this episode see you next time